Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to The Breakfast Club. Uh, I'm Kazoom. Cut! Welcome to The Breakfast Club. It's supposed to be Friday, but it's Saturday because I didn't realize. I, I This week has flown by really, really quickly. Um, Cut! Hey, welcome to The Breakfast Club. I'm Kazoom. It's supposed to be Friday, but it's not. It's Saturday because... This week flew by so quickly. I it, the days didn't like it, it didn't catch. I I didn't catch up with it. And now I think of that really really bad joke in uh, Pulp Fiction. Uh, Uma Therma. She was saying it was a really cheesy joke, or what was the word she used? It wasn't cheesy. It was some other uh, some other word. And you know, squish ketchup. Um, I haven't got caught up in my pickle juice because this video is toast. Cut! Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the Breakfast Club. It's supposed to be Friday, but you know, it's Saturday because I'm late again. Uh, I just didn't even, I thought I had like one more day. This week went by so quickly. Um, wait, I'm mean, like, wait, tomorrow's Saturday? You know, one, one of those kind of moments, right? You know, one of those kind of days, I should say. I'm not really sure if I have anything interesting to say. I, I've been doing this... I have this script written for a video. Some of my videos are scripted, some of them are not. Uh, this one is not scripted. But, and I have this script where there's this section that I want to say something and sound like Trump. And I just can't seem to do it. I... And most of it I'm finding is because I just don't have a New York accent down. That is a very, very difficult accent to me. I mean, one of the main things that changes the way that someone sounds is this difference between this and this. I mean, these are the same pitches, but it doesn't sound like it because you change the resonance of it. Hey, 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 you know. It's a dip, you know, kind of, Arnold will, like, move around on that a lot. He kind of does this. And then whenever he gets hurt, it's, you know, he always has that sound anytime he gets hurt. It's always the same. But it's those differences and the ways that people will move around that part of their throat. And uh, I can usually get that down pretty good. But, man, with Trump... It's that damn accent. And with Trump, every time he gets to this aw sound, it it sounds like it's like a like like he's gargling uh, uh, phlegm or something like that. You know, like he's constantly he constantly has this phlegm in the back of his throat, and when he gets excited and goes aw sound, it sounds like it's he's gargling, you know? I find it interesting how there are some similarities between a New York accent and a British accent in that and you're going, what? How? And it's like, well, it's the avoidance of the er sound. And they do it, each one of them do it differently, but they still avoid that sound. It's just one of the main features of a British accent or anywhere in the UK, pretty much. It's been really difficult to get that this down, so I'm having to put a, this video that I've been writing a script for since uh, yesterday. As I was trying to research Trump's accent, I ran into this channel by Peter Serafinowicz, if I'm pronouncing his name right, and he's taking a bunch of clips of Trump's speeches and is saying the exact same things that Trump said, overdubbing over it with different accents. And some of these things make Trump look way more absurd than he already did. Because when you hear the way that he forms sentences, doesn't finish sentences, doesn't answer questions sometimes, but he usually uses that New York personality to just sort of be able to get out of really saying much of anything. It's, it's been very humorous to watch, and I'll leave a link to that in the description bar. Cut! Welcome to the Sierra Red Conbanunagusps. Do not push the pull sign. Do not drive 
through the window of the drive through uh, restaurant for it may cause damage to your car and the employees. Cut. Do not store your light bulbs in the freezer. Cut. Gooey goo for chewy chewing. Cut. <laughs> Cut. What are your favorite bath time songs? Cut. What songs do you think of when you're taking a shit? Cut. Do you ever sing when you're on the toilet? Cut. We're sorry that the secrecy envelopes are unavailable at this time. Please use the tracing paper envelopes on the right. Cut. Fruit. Fruit. The, the word is fruit. Cut. When you're feeling down, think of fruit. Cut. Cut. Just add the eh sound for more emphasis. Eh. Cut. Be sure to accentuate the O sound and not the A sound. Levi o say, not Levi o say. Cut. This living hand. Cut. <laughs> 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 Cut. This living hand, warm like a roasted duck filled with mint pudding. Cut. Cut. Chester Banneville and Boonin and Chan Chan. Boonin and Chan Chan. Boonin and Chan Chan. Cut. If Trump gets elected, a year later, what does Milo Yiannopoulos say to the alt writers? <laughs> Attention, attention, incoming butthurtness.